Bonjour, nous sommes aujourd'hui en compagnie du docteur Mouafak Al-Rubay. Bonjour. Bonjour. Alors je précise que vous êtes membre du Parlement irakien et ancien conseiller de la sécurité nationale de l'Irak. Uh, I'm going to speak in English now. Um, I would like you to explain us uh, why uh, the battle of Mosul is so important. Mosul is a pivotal part of Iraq because it is an ancient city, number one. Number two, uh, ISIS consider Mosul as the, the capital of their state. And number three, it is the second biggest city in Iraq and it, the population is between probably up to two million uh, people. Mm -hmm. So it is important and it's the last bastion of Daesh in Iraq. Once we kick them out of Iraq, there will be no legitimacy to, to claim that this is an Islamic state. There is no state, there is no Islam there. Okay. Magnific Because they, they lose the territory. Of course. So my, my, my second question is about the different fighters, because we know that there is uh, Iraqi army, but there, is, there are also other fighters. Can you uh, explain us who are the other fighters? I'm very pleased to say that the, there is a very complete synchronization and coordination between Iraqi security forces, counter-terrorism forces, uh, popular mobilization forces, Peshmerga forces of, of Kurdistan, and the uh, international alliance from the sky, and on the, on the ground as well as the ground spotters. So there is a very good coordination between many and also tribal fighters from the Sunni community, from Mosul itself. So uh, the all Iraqi people are behind the Iraqi security forces in this fight. Okay, and if we imagine that now the battle is over and the Iraqi army has uh, won, um, my, my last question is how, um, how uh, Iraqi uh, government will deal with Uh, let's uh, put USA aside with Iran, which is one of the big allies in this war, and also the Kurdish uh, <coughs> near to Barzani, who is himself linked to Israel, maybe, and Israel and Iran are not uh, friends. So uh, the, 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 the allies of Iraqi are not friends between them. So how, how can it work? Uh, there are two, two parts of this. After we liberate Mosul, Mosul will be part and parcel of Iraq. Their people will be Iraqis. And we will start with, number one, stabilization of Mosul. Number two, we will go for reconstruction of Mosul and installing a local government in there and, and secure the territories around Mosul. And Mosul will be back to the Iraqi fold. Now, as far as the uh, Kurdish uh, issue is concerned, this is, a, this is a different issue and has nothing to do with, uh, with Mosul. Uh, Mosul is, a, is the, in, Arabic, in the Arabic part of Iraq and, uh, uh, and uh, Barzani has promised that he will not claim any territory of the Mosul province. Uh, in return, he received some uh, money from the United States of America. But uh, this, putting this beside, uh, Barzani has a huge problem in Kurdistan. There are so many people against him. Okay. He has his own, his plate is full of problems. Okay. So we, we believe that the PUK is against him, the Goran against him, the, uh, some of the Islamist uh, uh, in uh, Kurdish uh, parties are against him. So there are so many, and also the PKK. So there are so many people. He's not so almighty in, his, uh, in uh, the Kurdish party. Not Russia. really, no, not really, no. Okay. He's not the only decision maker in uh, the Kurdish part of Iraq. Okay, thank you very much for thank your explanation. You.